was only a few short hours ago that Todd said that building Ikea cabinets were idiot proof. How'd that turn out? We're Tyler and Todd, and in 2020, we parked our RV in the middle of the Canadian forest to live out our dream of building an off-grid home for ourselves. Hundreds of projects and thousands of small steps later, our journey to build a simple life has led us to where we are today. Hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up, which helps us get introduced to more like-minded people just like you. Come along. Good morning. We got up bright and early today for a very exciting project that's happening on the geodesic dome. It's finally kitchen day. We're really excited for this because we've been using our folding work table for a while and it's just not cutting it. Like, yeah. It's not the same as having a proper kitchen, so I'm really excited for this. There's obviously only so much you can do on a folding table, <laughs> so it's gonna be good. Plus it's gonna be nice to be able to like have a space to bring more groceries and have all our spices so we can get back to making our own recipes because I miss that. Yeah, like, just I miss it too. Just whipping up some good meals. By the way, if you're wondering what that big massive box is, it's our fridge, which is super exciting. It's we, huge, look at it. We like haven't had a fridge too. like this in a very long time. We'll be able to have more than two flavors of salad dressing at a time. I'm so excited. We're just moving up. the options. <laughs> We're moving up here in the world. Okay, I am gonna set you right here and we are gonna get started on moving all of that stuff over right there. How are we making out? Pretty good, actually. I mean, these whole, the good thing about the Ikea kitchens is that they're pretty idiot-proof to put together. You just gotta follow step-by-step step, all the pictures. Before you know it, you're gonna have your own little kitchen. <laughs> we want the cooktop to be under the solar fan, but we want it to look as balanced between the two windows as we can. So we're hoping that once we get it together, we can move the fridge over here and it'll fit in this space. And if not, then we're gonna have to put the fridge over here, but add extra banks to fill in this gap, which we really don't want to do because it's going to add to the overall cost of the kitchen. Yeah, and I just don't think it's necessary because obviously when you come in the front door, we want it to be super open and mm -hmm. hopefully later this week when we can move the fireplace and center it on those two windows, it'll just make the interior feel very symmetrical, which in a circular space is way more important than we realized. And it's way harder to do than we realized too, because yeah. you don't have corners to start off of. It's very challenging. Yeah, it's um, it's definitely different than traditional building. But, but it's been fun. Oh yeah, and like, hello. Like, it's totally worth it. So what we're gonna do now is continue working on building these. We're gonna do all of the interior, all the guts of it basically, so. You ready? Ready. So as I'm sure you'll remember, it was only a few short hours ago that Todd said that building Ikea cabinets were idiot proof. Pretty idiot proof. One mistake, one mistake, that's how it turned out. One mistake that cost us a few hours of our time. <laughs> it didn't cost us a few hours, maybe 45 minutes. You're so dramatic. So dramatic. So extra. So the problem is this lower bank was just not lining up and then we weren't able to close it. Turns out there are multiple holes that it can go in. So it just wouldn't line up. <laughs> um, the reason we uh, went with this is because we want our top bank to have all of our cutlery and then like this bottom oh. bank. Oh, sorry. <laughs> the bottom bank here, or the middle bank, I should say. I'm so frazzled right now. <laughs> and then the lower bank. So we are back on track, which is really great. The one thing that's really disappointing though is we cannot find, for the life of us, 
the additional legs for our last bank of cabinets. So they weren't bought. I went through the receipt. They for sure weren't bought? They weren't bought. We wow. tried so, so hard to be ready for this project. So hard. We said everyone's going to be so proud of us. They're going to be like, wow, new year, new boys. But hmm. nope. No. <laughs> so, I mean, on the flip side of it, if we have to run into the city and go to Ikea and we get a little meal along the way, it's not the worst thing in the world. At all. At all. Okay. We're going to continue on. back and forth as soon as we saw the fridge go in we decided we may as well come into the city and get the missing parts that we needed from ikea we just really want to be able to finish up the kitchen and you know buy groceries cook a meal. yeah yeah exactly we've wasted a lot of produce lately because we've been putting it out in our cooler and while it's raining today that's very unseasonably warm i guess it's three degrees tomorrow it's going down to minus 10 so yeah, it's just, we've wasted enough. It's nice that we have the fridge. We can keep it now. Exactly. So. And we're just pulling in right now. Yeah. So. Fingers crossed the kitchen's open now. I'm a little peckish. <laughs> um, it's pretty bad, but whenever we go to Ikea, we, I don't know why I'm whispering, but <laughs> whenever we, Ikea's listening. <laughs> whenever we go, we um, always go for a dinner first. So that's probably what we're Well, when we lived in Edmonton, if we were in the area, we would just stop in and eat. Cause it's so affordable. That's the other thing. Yeah. Too bad this wasn't a sponsored video for Ikea. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe then they would have given us their, all the parts. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> It's an appetizer. It looks so good. 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 Look how good this It's got eggplant and everything in it. First bite. You gotta try it. Okay. Alright, we're gonna eat and catch up with you in a bit. Good morning. Morning. Thank you. You're welcome. We had a really nice night out last night. It kind of turned into a bit of a date night, which is special because we actually haven't been on a date in months. We've just yeah. been like really busy with projects here and the dome build, so. Yeah, Thank it was you. nice to be able to just like have a nice meal and yeah. it was so good. <laughs> <laughs> but we're just getting ready now to head out on a walk to the river. It's what we do every morning to start our day with the boys. And before we do, we wanna take a second and thank the sponsor of today's video, Gym Plus Coffee. Gym Plus Coffee is an Irish athleisure brand that not only makes high high quality garments like the sweater and shirt that we're wearing today, they're also on a mission to make life richer. Not only do they have sustainable products like the t-shirt I'm wearing that's made from recycled materials, but when you receive your products in the mail, they come in 100% compostable mailers. And on top of that, the interior packaging is all biodegradable. The goal by the end of the year is to have 30% of their line be fully sustainable as well as all of their packaging being compostable. Plus their clothing is super comfortable. Like we've said before, we actually share all of our clothes. This shirt is one that we fight over all the time because it's just so lightweight and breathable. It's made from 100% recycled plastic and I just love the color. Yeah, it's it's just really unique. I, I don't know, it's one of my favorite shirts that I've gotten in a really long time. And at Gym Plus Coffee, there's a fit and style for everyone. The perfect gear for whether you go to the gym every day or you're like us and enjoy hanging around the house. So make sure you check out Gym Plus Coffee. We'll put the link in the description box down below. If you use the code Tyler and Todd, you'll save 20% off your first order. But for now, we're gonna finish making our coffees and get ready and head to the river. Yeah. All right, come on boys, let's go for a walk. Oh my. Like, what do we do? Lily. Lily. You should not be up there, Miss Lily. Where's the hot firefighters when you need them? 
Next track is gonna get me chainsaw and cutting the thing down. I know, I can't come any further, baby. I don't got claws. Oh, good girl. Come on, <laughs> Lily. You're we okay. got you. You're okay. Got her? Yeah. Good girl. She says, where's that fucking woodpecker? <laughs> <laughs> After a lot of trying later, we finally rescued Lily from the tree. Oh, so. way different than having dogs. <laughs> Very different. <laughs> These two literally don't do anything except <laughs> lay around. This one, however, She's a little busy, aren't you? <laughs> so we're gonna continue on now with the kitchen build. What we have to do is build up the base and actually attach it to the floor. Gotta do the countertop, the sink, all the fun stuff, so. It's gonna be good though. Well, we Pretty need cool. to figuring it out yeah. as we go. Yeah, this is, well, kind of the next step. So we need to figure out where we want it and then these go underneath of it because we're building more of an island than a cabinet bank that would be like resting on a wall. So these are gonna support it from underneath, which is what we need to figure out now. Screw those into the floor, screw the cabinets into that. Then we can move on to the next part, which is countertops. Easy peasy. All right, we're gonna get started. Test it, test it. I just want to show people how you're measuring. <laughs> you know what? I'm so over this. I literally don't care. If it works, use it, you know? So we're still plugging along with the kitchen. We ran into an issue. So the black stabilizing legs that adjust to take the wobble out, well, two of them wouldn't go to the same size as the rest of them. Look how crap these are. They're yeah. just like plastic. They keep snapping off. But basically, Sorry. these screw out. And the other ones are all the way in, but these two wouldn't go all the way in. So it kept making everything want to lean forward because they were in the back. So a workaround that we came up with is we took some pieces of two by four that we have left over and we used some L brackets and we've created our own legs in the back of the cupboards to hold them in place. And since we did that, like, look at this. It's sturdy, hey? The point of Ikea though, is that you shouldn't have to be creating products of your own. But <laughs> they're literally, like out of stock on everything. So yeah. I feel like there should have been a better solution. This is just all they had. Yeah, we're just making it work. So now what Tyler's getting started on is screwing in <laughs> the bases <laughs> into, <Excuse> the me. <laughs> into the ones that are, run the two by four pieces that are running through the center. And that's also gonna help hold it in place and like really secure it so we can't be moving it. And then after that, we should be able to put the doors back on and really get started on the countertops, which I'm really excited for. Wow, you did so well. Look at that. <coughs> did you breathe the whole time? Barely. <laughs> Time to cut the sink. Oh my god, we could make like a little cutting board out of this. Yeah. It's cutting board material. Yeah. Nervous. Very nervous. Holy <laughs> Whoa, that's so nice. I always wanted a farmhouse sink. Always. Mm. All right, okay. so we need to measure halfway in between the sink. So it's 24 and a half inches. Wow. That got my ears ringing. <laughs> <laughs> Super excited. All the construction on the kitchen is done. That oh, means how good this place looks. Are you kidding? It looks really good. We did this. Also, speaking of insulation, we never really addressed this. 
We put little pieces of Reflectix in our windows at night to keep the cold air out and the warm air in. It does really well. It's just like, I can show you what it looks like. Like, look at the ice on that. Yeah. That's crazy. Let's get to staging. Yeah, we're really, really excited to pull all of the decor pieces that we have for this space. And we will see you in two seconds. All right, it's been a couple of hours and we just finished staging. And I have to say that it blows my expectations. Good job, put her there. We, we really crushed this. We did. So over here, we've got our dry storage for food. So we've got like our beans and our nutritional yeast and rice. We've got, this is our snack bin. This is our like bread and wraps and lunch bin. And then this is more of like meals and more intense. Are we going meals. bin by bin? We're going bin by bin. <laughs> <laughs> over here, we've got an area for our fur babies to eat. So underneath, we've got the dish for Lily. And then on top is Charlie and Eddie because the three of them eat their breakfast and supper together, which is actually really cute it's but they, really cute. they've done it since day like two so we just love it then we've got our garbage cans which are hiding our battery bank so while we're still waiting to connect our full solar system into the dome we're running off battery banks which actually runs the fridge which i'm still so in disbelief about the fact that we <laughs> so have nice. a fridge like this is this is so nice then moving into the kitchen, I can't get over the amount of storage that we have here. We've got pots and pans and all that stuff in here. This is our cutlery, our spices. This is like miscellaneous kitchen tools. And then all our dishes fit nicely into here. In here, we've got all our cleaning supplies and we have this motion activated light that's battery operated. So when we have really sunny days, we can charge the batteries on our solar system. And then it just helps you see what's going on underneath or what you're looking for. And then this is all our Tupperware and stuff that we don't use every single day. One of the things I love about the kitchen is this coffee and wet bar. Lily loves it as well. <laughs> so, is that your new spot? <laughs> we've got our coffee maker here and then we've got some wine glasses and coffee mugs. Then we've got our alcohol and liqueurs here. And my absolute favorite part is this island, which I, so nice. So nice. And like, it's movable. So if we were doing something like having a cartwheel competition, we can move it out of the way. But it's also really nice because we can lift these up and they just hang and store underneath. And then most importantly, um, Lily's, <laughs> I don't know how we're going to train her out of this, but the farmhouse sink, that yeah. is just... It's so nice. It's so nice. We've still got some work to do on figuring out the final plumbing. Everything's roughed in, but it's not fully connected. And it's yeah. probably gonna have to wait till spring because we are in the middle of the winter. But it works for now. We can put a little dish pan in it and have like an area, I don't know. It's just so like mind boggling better than how we lived last winter. Like. I don't know. <laughs> Doing dishes in a dish pan for a little while while we get the plumbing set up is really not the biggest deal. Yeah. So, yeah. It's Anything's easier exciting. after bathing in a Rubbermaid tote. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm using that clip again. I don't care. Do you feel good? Um, I feel cheap. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, we're going to get cooking a meal in this space. and I'm really excited to break it in. Oh, plus, obviously, our kitchen table plus office space. space. I just, I love it. It's really starting to feel like home and it's been over two years since we've had like a permanent like place to call home to really settle in that we're not moving every couple days or just like, I don't know. It was just always chaotic in the RV I felt where now I'm really feeling like it might be back to those circles, but I'm feeling calm. I know Lily's not. <laughs> she says this damn tail's been chasing me all day. <laughs> I love you. I love you too. Todd's trying to have a nice moment and I'm here zooming in on Lily. <laughs> All right, we're gonna cook up some dinner and yeah, get this going. While it would have been nice to break in our new kitchen with a nice home cooked meal, <laughs> it is fridge leftover pizzas in the air fryer for dinner tonight. Which we're super excited for because- It's gonna be good. It's been a long couple of days and yeah. cooking an ambitious meal was definitely not in our cards tonight. Next Sunday for a nice, nice video in the kitchen, I guess. But we have a really exciting day happening tomorrow. It's a project we've been waiting for, for like over a year. Yeah, it's so. been your, like your brainchild for so long and I'm yeah. excited for you. I'm excited too. So we're going to have this pizza and we will see you in the morning. 
We got a bunch of snow last night, but that is not gonna stop us from tackling this project today. We've been waiting forever for this, and it's finally happening.